Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase Python Flask. Today we are going to learn CRUD operations using Firestore with Python and the Flask. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. In the last video, what we have done, we have done with the CRUD operations with real-time database. Now with Firestore. Okay. So let's go and uh, create that one. So let me go with the fire store. Store.py file. Okay, let's try to update this. So let's first of all we have to install the Firebase admin, which we have already talked about in the last two videos. Okay, so uh, pip install Firebase admin. I will show you the command. Okay, let me see control C and here this is the command, right? Firebase pip3 install Firebase admin. If you have the Python, then pip install by default you have the python currently i have a python 3 right okay so import the flask from the flask request and the jsonify and the firebase admin from the firebase admin credentials and the fire store now we have to initialize the firebase admin sdk with the help of this okay so here you need to set the path to how to get this file go to your firebase Log into the console, go to your project settings, go to your service accounts. Here you will get a create a new private key. So just click on that. It will give you the JSON file, service account JSON file, right? Here, generate a new private key. Just click on it. It will it automatically download to your download folder. Just copy, paste and paste it over here. Okay, in the root file and give the path of it that one. So I'm going to give the path that is a phone number. Let me just go with this. And then we have to initialize first initialize the Firebase admin as the key. Okay. Then we have to go with initialize the file store. So here we have a file store client, right? Then first one that to create a record into the file store. Okay. So here we are requesting the JSON file and add a new document with the auto generated ID. And if it is added, then we will send the message that a document created successfully with the reference ID. Okay. And if something goes wrong, it will go me, it give me the error that the node data is provided. Let's try to create this. Okay. So here, uh, I, so where it is. So anything that we have missed, I think. No. Okay. So we are using the collection that is users check. We have the users collection fire store databases. So here we have a collection of the users. Currently, we have the collections of the user. I got it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just drop this collection. Uh, so I need to pass it the users. Otherwise, I'm getting to be confused, like which are record it is. So let me delete this users part. Okay, let's go to the create one. So here we have a create record. Let's try to run the firestore.py. So here we go with the Python firestore.py. Firestore. I think firestore.py. So we have to restart the application. Let's go to the create one. So this is the API that is create a record, make a post request. So here we have the body. Let's try to send it. And uh, here we go with the record insertion that is document ID we're getting in. And here you can see that if I just reload this one, here we have the collection of the users with the created record. Okay, so I have the users. This is the ID, document ID, right? And this is my record is there, right? First step is done. Let's move to the next one that we have a read. So I'm going to read a document. So what we are going to do, I need a document ID and db dot collection dot db dot collection users dot document with a document id and get that record if the document exists then we are going to send the document records if not then document not found okay so make sure make a read request over here so read request and here need to pass the document id which is this one let's add it and fetch the record of that one this should be a get request let's try to send it and uh, this is our rec 
record is there okay and we show that record next one that we are going to update a record for that one so i'm going to do the updation part with that same id and here i'm going to with my this one i'm going to add um, okay so i'm just changing the cast i'm trying to send it this is update request that means put request let's try to send it and document is updated and here you can see that the document is updated the latest name here you can see that right if i'm going to add the any other name let's try to send it and here you can see that it's updated automatically okay let's dive into the code so this is the update with the document id so first require the document id and request the whatever the json we want to send okay if the if data is there then update an existing document with the help of db dot collection this is your collection name document with the document id dot update and whatever data you want to update you need to pass it over here and it will give you the return that the document update is successfully with the 200 status code else something goes wrong it will give you the error that the no data provided with the 400 status code okay the last one that is the delete document okay so here we require the document id for to, deleting that one delete a document db.collection.users document with the document id this method that is delete method and the document will be deleted successfully let's try to do that one so here we have a delete one okay and make sure you have to make a delete request and try to send it and document deleted successfully right here you can see that there is no document okay so this is how you are able to do the crud operations using the firebase fire store in the python flask any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day